Get ready for vision input and copilot chat, Xcode and Eclipse announcements, personalized copilot instructions, a blazing fast TypeScript, and dive into EA's latest open source game releases. All that and more on this episode of The Download. We're back. Welcome back to another episode of The Download, the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. And please like and subscribe. I'm Cassidy, and I work in developer advocacy here at GitHub. Let's get into it. First up, Copilot Chat has just rolled out its vision input and public preview for Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio. This means you can now attach images directly into your chat, making it easier to share screenshots of mockups or errors, or even screenshots of code. Just drag and drop, paste from your clipboard, or snap a screenshot into your editor window. This feature is now available to all users of the stable editor versions. So go ahead, give it a try, and let Copilot help bring your designs to life or debug those pesky errors. Next up, we have some exciting news for all of the Xcode and Eclipse aficionados out there. GitHub Copilot Chat is now generally available for Xcode and in public preview for Eclipse. That's right, you can now enjoy AI-powered assistance not just through code completions, but also with in-editor chat assistance. Imagine having a coding buddy who's always got your back, ready to answer questions, explain code, help debug, and even suggest some complex implementations. Get ready to boost your productivity without ever leaving the comfort of your coding environment. In other exciting news, personalized custom instructions for Copilot are now generally available on github.com. You can now provide Copilot with details about your preferences, such as your preferred language, response style, or even code standards. Setting it up is as easy as opening Copilot chat, clicking that dot 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 menu on the right, and selecting personal instructions. Whether you want Copilot to use Vue 3 with a composition API or to always respond in Portuguese, your personalized experience is just a few clicks away. Customize and let Copilot speak your language. And don't blink, TypeScript is about to get a whole lot faster. Their team has announced a native port of the TypeScript compiler and tools promising a 10x performance improvement. This new implementation drastically reduces editor startup times, build times, and memory usage. Imagine renaming variables, finding references, and navigating your code base without delay. The native port, written in Golang, is expected to be feature complete by the end of this year and will also support error listings, advanced refactorings, and deeper insights. Keep an eye out for TypeScript 7.0, the native code base, as it inches closer to release. And in gaming news, EA Games has open sourced four Command & Conquer game titles, Command & Conquer, Red Alert, Renegade, and Generals. This was a huge surprise. The source code for these classics is now available on EA's GitHub page, providing a treasure trove for modders and the game restoration community. This move is such a great one that I really hope to see more of in general because it really helps ensure these games survive in playable forms as our devices evolve. It's a nostalgic journey for all CNC fans and a new playground for modders. And that's all for this week's developer updates. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on any of the topics we discussed this week. If you liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up as an offering to the algorithm gods and subscribe to GitHub's YouTube channel for all of your nerdy needs. Keep it classy, keep it sassy, get it? Like software as a service, and we'll see you next time.